Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Andrew Trepin and today we will cover IDA scheme ID under five minutes. Here a list of functionalities that we will be exploring, but the basics first. The ID consists of two parts, the backend part written in Guile scheme and the frontend part, which can be written in any language, but in our case it's written in a Max Lisp. So first of all, we need to run a backend part. For this, we will use a simple command which executes Guile process, specifies the appropriate load passes, and runs this run server function, which starts an Unreal uh, server. And through the Unreal protocol, the frontend part will be talking with the backend part. So let's start it. After that, we can open any scheme file and you will see at the top that the major mode is scheme and minor mode is array and you see it's disconnected right now. To connect we can use Ctrl C Ctrl A hotkey and after that the status will be changed to connected. Just after that we can start evaluating our expression. On the right part you see the new buffer appeared and this buffer will contain std out stdr uh, exceptions and the results of evaluation. In addition to that, you can see that the results of evaluation is shown in tooltip. It's done so we can uh, use our IDE without actually see seeing this window on the right. Because sometimes you need only the resulting values of the expression and no stdr or, STDR or other uh, things. Of course, we support multiple values and you can evaluate the expression that returns multiple values and you will see it in tooltips and in uh, the connection buffer as well. And of course the evaluation is model aware. You can see it here. Okay, let's go to more interesting functionality. What about completion? Right now you can see the completion list pop-ups. It can be Corfu, it can be Vertica, it can be whatever you want. You see the function names, you see the model the function defined. But uh, what if I want a function that is not uh, here right now? I can export a model using use models and uh, do a completion one more time. Uh, and I want escape continuation from ice 9 control. Now it, it appeared here. After uh, I completed the function name, you can see the arguments at the bottom using uh, shown to us using elder. We also can go to definition of this function using xref find definition functionality. And of course we can go deeper. For example, go to implementation of apply fun function and case lambda and so on and so forth. Of course we can go back with the xref go back and jump to original point. Okay, what interesting we have uh, here. We have interruptible evaluation as well. For example, you executed accidentally an infinite loop or you executed an event loop or just long running process that you want to interrupt. You can use uh, Ctrl C, Ctrl B to interrupt the evaluation. But moreover, uh, during this loop or during the long process or during the previous evaluation, you may be saved a continuation. If you don't know what continuation is, uh, read information in the internet. It's very interesting topic and it's very powerful mechanism, but we won't cover it today. Okay, we, exe we executed an infinite loop, which saving continuation. Now we int uh, interrupted this loop and called the continuation with new value. And you see, it continued from the point it stopped. Moreover, we can queue a few evaluation in a row. For example, uh, I tried to evaluate uh, three things uh, and when I will be interrupting, the next queued uh, thing to evaluate will start evaluation. And of course, I can intercept a read line and other studying related functionality. And uh, here you can see when uh, I executed continuation with a special symbol, which uh, executes read line function, the estadin prompt appeared at the bottom. And I can pass any arbitrary number and the evaluation will continue from this point. 
Okay, that's it for today. You can support the project on Open Collective or by telling to friends and colleagues. Follow the development progress on RD Devil mailing list and respective issue tracker. I hope you enjoyed the video and I see you in a bit. Bye.